Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Minecraft Dinosaurs with Gobspout. Um, here today, a little bit laggy I think, things are probably processing, I'll turn on my settings a little bit. Um, but a lot has been done, my settings, well these probably settings should be a little bit better considering what my PC components are. Um, performance, smooth world, smooth PS, load far, I don't even know. Um, maybe that should be on. Okay, we'll, we'll leave that on default. Um, anyway, we've done a lot, a lot, since the last video. Um, I put a few hours into this world just doing offline stuff that probably isn't good recording footage. So, um, I'm here in the bottom of the mine shaft. The, the first main one, um, <laughs> the exposed staircase, and I've made, uh, I did some mining, did a, uh, a tunnel, uh, strip mining, I started with strip mining, and then I dug into a cave, and then I followed the cave network through, and then I found, like, an amount of mine shaft, and I got lost there, and I spent probably four hours in the amount of mine shaft, and I am stacked now, look at all this stuff, this is fantastic, got all this coal, got all these diamonds, all this lapis, these, all these fossils we got, um, here with you know a stack of each fossil for each mod we've got 10 frozen meats 20 ambers um got a couple of pearls got some rails you could see from the um band of mine shaft that's where the string came from as well because we found a couple of slimes that was kind of cool and some melon seeds so that's gonna be good we can finally put melons in the research lab like we we're wanting to um you know got some random skeleton things gold iron uh emeralds i should have brought i shouldn't have brought this sorry i should not have brought the fishing rod along um uh, my sword broke ages ago and i didn't have any food either i just ran up and got some food because i was on the verge of starving to death again um but oh you probably didn't see i made a diamond pickaxe and i put uh with my three diamonds had remaining i put fortune three on it and efficiency four well i just sorry i put a level 30 inch head on it and that's what i got and I, I need to put an Unbreaking 2 book on there when I get one. Um, <laughs> I need to pinch it off one of these lousy fishing rods. Um, that's how I got all these diamonds. It was only probably, that came from about 6 or 7 diamond ore. Yeah, that was pretty fantastic. But I'm only using, oh, same with all this coal. This came from this pickaxe. I'm only using this pickaxe when I sort of really need to. Um, but it's so cool. Look, I got this emerald up here. I'm going to bust it open. See how many we get. Uh... Look at all those. Look at all those we just got from the one ore. It's great. It's fantastic. Um, but I'm going to come up and, sh you know, show off what I've done. Um, a bit of a chewer video today. You're going to get a shock when you see what I've done. There is, to look at it, it's visually a lot has been done. We are not a, a sloppy park anymore. The research lab, I've... The inside of it, I've tried to finish. It doesn't look beautiful. I've just sort of built... <laughs> um, I kind of finished that sentence without finishing it. Um, can, let's see, do we have... We can we'll drop off this uh, stone over here. In this chest here. And do we have any lapis we can bring over? A little bit. We we'll probably, should, probably should leave it here, though. I've uh, got iron here. Bring this with us, just because we can. And that... Uh, oh, wow, look at amber lying around here. And look at diamonds here as well. What's going on? <laughs> what is going on with me? Leaving all these awesome things over here. Um, Alright, well, we're going to go back home. Back to the base. Uh, oh, I might as well bring this with us as well. Um, start smelting some things. And I do really need to... to I don't know what I was going to say just then. Um, I don't understand where this lag is coming from though. I'm guessing it's maybe because my hard drives are getting a little bit full with recordings or something. I'm not quite sure. But every now and again it's like smooth, smooth, it's fine, it's fine. And then, oh, oh, feels a little bit laggy. Even though we're stuck at 31 FPS or 30 FPS, um, it still feels odd. Um, I think I just showed off a lot of the stuff I've done as well <laughs> accidentally. Um, so I'm going to keep a head down um, while we come over to. Oh, oh. Went over to the home. Um, first things first, this I've just added from the bookshelves. It looks sloppy. So very soon here, I need to build a new home. I need to actually make my home. It's all right once you're in here. It's actually kind of nice and snug and cozy. I actually really like the design of an anvil on the floor. Or not. Um, 
I do have 31 levels. I, t I, yeah, I need to make probably maybe next episode or the episode after that, depending on when the, we're going to make the hips loft on enclosure. Um, roses. Ooh, I'm getting getting interested. There's roses in there. There's lots of roses. That's that's first. Um, let's see though. What can we what can we stack up in these? Um, this armor. Okay, you, we need like a trash disposal unit. Not gonna need this, not gonna need this. Gonna stack all this away up into here. And where else? Do we have skulls? I could have sworn we had skulls somewhere. Somewhere we had skulls. You, I mean, you're worthless, worthless. You're also worthless. Maybe we'll put you up there. Although you're just a leather pants, you're terrible as well. I don't really need you in a system. Um, right. Let's go into the lava pit and throw away some of this junk. Paper, poppy seeds, mushroom, flint, dandelions, leather, netherrack. What are we going to do with netherrack? Do not know. Um, Alright, what else can we put into these chests? Iron. We can probably actually start smelting this iron. Um... So let's see. Disappear eight. Put you in there. I don't think we have any gold ore lying around anywhere, which is all good. That's fine by me. Um, but we've got to go take take this stuff over into the lab as well to do some research as well in the spare time. I mean, this is more just terrible leather armor. We probably throw out. Um, I'll keep the mushrooms just in case. I mean, uh, I don't even know. String. We're gonna, we're gonna try and. I mean, these chests are a mess. This is why we need to build a house. We need to make a proper house here, and then get these proper chest organization sorting systems figured out. Figured out, guy. Um. That was an odd voice. Oh, no, do, 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 do. Bring, we'll bring these over too when we do go over. Um. Like simple stuff like this can be stacked up with the gunpowder in this chest down here. And here are our skulls up there. So there's our skulls. Do we have emeralds anywhere? We do have emeralds in here. We should probably keep all of these things together. We have pearls in there. We can put pearls in there. Um, like it's just a, everything is just a mess. All of these chests. Um, that's a different. That's a different species. So let's put this. This chest is meant is a mess as well. It's not meant to be a mess. It's meant to be just dedicated to Nautiluses. And I need to get more name tags. And I think the only way I can do that, unfortunately, is to go fishing. That's why I've got this this rod. This horrible... These two... I spent like 20... No, no, 20. It was... I wouldn't say 12 when it came into 20. Um, but it was more than 12. Probably 13, 14 levels in each of these rods. I only got Unbreaking 2. <clears throat> Horrible! I know there is a thing though where you need to get a certain amount on each rod, or it's not gonna. It's, it'll only come up with unbreaking otherwise. Um, trying to figure out what I can put all these uh, slime balls. Put you slime balls up there. Fern seeds. Fern seeds. They don't belong here. They belong over in the research lab, I believe. Sand as well. We'll put sand. Oh, this chest. This chest is empty. Ah, oh, my eye. It's burning. <laughs> I think something just buzzed in my eye. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Um, I don't like fences. I mean, what a mess. Um, do I have any sticks anywhere? I probably should get some tools together. I don't have any tools. I don't have any wood. I'm running out of wood. This is worrying. Very, very, very worrying. I'm running out of wood. I don't know what I'm going to do when I do run out of wood. Don't know what I'm gonna do when I do run out of wood. That was, that was a weird sentence. That was an odd one for sure. Um, right, this iron. Might as well just make a pickaxe. Now, I. Uh, oh, actually, a valuable pickaxe. Put the valuable pickups in there and all that stuff. I mean, you can sleep again, you kidding me? I'm always sleeping. Always sleeping. Food, here we go. No, 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 no. What happened to my bow? Where did my bow go? I had a... Oh, no, hang on, it's here. What am I doing? 
Why is it over there? Why am I, why am I confused about this? Um, okay, and we'll also, I don't know, we'll just click that on for now. <laughs> um, 10 minutes in, and I'm trying to figure out what I, I need an axe. I need an axe, that's what I need. I found, I, when I was down there mining though, I found a, a what is it called? A, a duplication glitch. Oh, I don't actually have any materials that I can try and duplicate. It, only, it worked with iron pickaxes, but it was the only thing I could test. And you needed two or three iron pickaxes that were like broken for it to work. I don't know. Um, all right, and we'll just like, we have iron, we have iron here. We've got logs in this one. Ew. Yes. What a godforsaken mess. Um, horrible this mess is. I need to get some food. You know, I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna sleepy, sleepy, sleep. I'm gonna go get down some carrots just because I'm. Ah, I'm so hungry. So hungry. Um, do we, where's our bone meal here? Alright, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Um, so I'll try not to show things off, but I'm going to run down here real quick, um, just to do some bone meal stuff. This is kind of a casual, um, episode. Like, if I was live streaming? No, no, <laughs> no. Oh, so many times though, like, I would have, so many times I've wanted to live stream things, and it's like, I've been doing things, and it's like, oh my god, I should be live streaming this, or this is perfect live stream stuff to do, or, you know, it's just, Saddens me that we can't. Who's that sandy guy moving? You can not a lie down there. Sure, not a lie, not a list. Um, so one thing first is because I don't want my house up here isn't meant to be a part of the park, so it's going to be hidden. I don't want it to be seen, so I want it to be fairly hidden. So I'm going to have like trees and whatnot, and I also don't want a path through there because it's going to show there's something here. It's going to look hideous. And the research lab is not hidden, but it's not meant to be accessible, or visually accessible. It's like having a footpath from the other one. Um, so, what I've done is I have... Actually, let me see if any of these chickens have made any meats for me. No, typical. Anyway, so what I've done is I've made this path, as you can see, here. So I've just sort of hidden it with dirt, so you can't see it from over there real well, which is fine. You can see it a little bit. That's all good. Um... So I think this is going to be the access point until the research or the laboratory becomes the information center. Um, but inside here, we've done not much tweaking to this part here. Um, just added these two lamps and also changed out these quartz blocks with... What do they call that block? I don't even know. Um, the, pi the columns. Pillars? Pillars? Columns? I don't know. That one. Oh. And I've still got this lousy pair of pants. Let me throw these overboard. Don't need you. Ever. I don't think. Um, and then, yeah, coming down, so we've added some lights as well. Oh, sorry, yeah, we've glassed up the whole ceiling as well in here. But we've we put glass down, and then we've put these redstone lamps, um, which are powered from the outside. And we've got these, once again, the quartz columns next to them, which is just nice um, compared to having just... A random light in the middle of all this. I do really, I love these blocks a lot, but I know it's really like repetitive to have them everywhere. And also, they're not stripy on every side because you can see they've got this tree trunk base, um, which is hard to deal with at times. Anyway, coming through here, we've done the ceiling as well. We've put um, the columns in the corners as well, and we've got. I wanted to sort of have a chandelier. I wanted to have this bowl room but with glowstone. I wanted to have glowstone lamps. And I had them in there, but I couldn't get them powered. So I had to go to glowstone. But I didn't want big blocks. So I don't know, this didn't turn out fantastic, but it's better than what it was originally, the first like three attempts I did. So I've just done glowstone slopes and then a pointed one in the middle, like a roof peak. Um, which I'll show off in a little bit here. Um, well, to come down right first, you'll see that into the digging zone. Not digging zone, what do they call this? I don't know. DNA extraction points. Um, this is well, work in progress still. I mean, like I said, I've just built it. I haven't made it beautiful yet. Still got to work on the beauty of it. Um, especially the outdoor beauty. It's hideous outdoors. Um, but we've got sort of the ceiling built in here. We've got this, this room. I think this room can turn out pretty well, actually. Um, the Spinosaurus, though, I think could maybe be... A little bit bigger. I'm not sure yet though, because it might be too big then. 
Um, but he just looks too odd in there where he is right now. Uh, but you'll see that we've also we've got this done, the ceiling, we've got the glass ceiling opening up so that you can see the rock wall face, which we're going to get some silk touch and put some fossil, more fossils all throughout here. Um, oh, and I was considering putting some glowstone underneath these as well, so just that these look nice. Um, but like I said, I haven't done the designy stuff yet, I've just made it. Um, but I'm going to put these things in the analyzer while I'm here, these fossils, and then we'll come back and check them when we've done the tour. How many have we got? We got one, we got two, four, six. All right. Uh, that should six and then four. Okay, so put you in there, 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 and you in. Th oh, this one's already got stuff in there with its sand. Um, okay, we'll put you in. Oh, we'll do that. And then we're also going to come over. Oh, we need a chest. Oh, no, no, we've got a chest. Sorry. Um, okay, and then we're going to put. Oh, frozen meats. We should put frozen meats on one of these too. Um, maybe. Which one? Let's put frozen meats in this one. And then. I don't know. We'll try and even these out a little bit. Uh, <laughs> try to make sure these don't fill up as well, which I know they will because they're annoying. Because the sand and stuff doesn't stack. Oh, raw pork chop. Yeah, we're gonna get all sorts of problems. Look, like, look, that should have all stacked up to save room, but it didn't. Anyway, so besides the points, we'll come over here as well, and we got four of these. So, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay. Load these up too, and then we'll put amber. Twenty-five amber. It's twenty-five confirmed, one hundred percent fantastic dinosaurs. This is these are so cool. They want to show all these. Look, we already got, we got lost rock DNA. All right, um, and then we'll come up here as well. Show off the cultivator room once again. Ceilings continue through. This room is not finished. This room is not finished. I don't have no, I have no clue. I'm going to build this room, and it looks hideous from the outside. Um, but it's not too bad inside. We've got the glass window like we were wanting at the front, and then we've got the three. This I love this view. Maybe not the view, but this window, actually. I think it's actually... <laughs> I, th I think I prefer looking at the window and not looking through the window. This design, this sort of shape of the window, I love it so much. It's fantastic. Um, well, that was weird. Everything sort of focused in and out. Look at those cultivators at the back that they pop in. Whoop. I can't see cultivators through cultivators. That's really weird. Um, actually, I just realized these are meant to be stone. Stone, stone, stone. But I'm a fool. Oh well. Um, and then once again, we've got all these culture bats in here, which were here before, I believe. Um, not much going on here, except for the fact that this room is being worked on. It's gonna look. It. I'll make it. I'll make this. I gotta make this whole thing look because it took me so long. I spent as well probably two or three hours on this, making this all constructed and look nice. And getting quartz was a huge, big pain as well. Um, but I've got to make this look nicer as well, I think. I've got to make that room look nicer, that room look nicer. This here is off as well. I'm going to make that look nicer. Um, I just want to keep looking at all these things. I just, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to leave it because I know it's going to do that. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Mammoth DNA. We'll leave the DNA is in the analyzers, I think. Just to save it a little bit. And then, all oh, these ones are going to be annoying as well because we're going to get... Yes, we're going to get this problem. It's okay. Oh, this one's almost full. Uh, oh, so is this one. Well, we don't want to peek. We'll come back later and look at it. The rest of the tour. All right. Um, let's go see. Outside. So we'll go along this path again, just because it's sort of what we should be doing. Not jumping off anymore. We've got to try and get in the habit of running along this path, um, which I think turned out all right. I mean... I, I have this habit of just building things and I'll be like, eh, and then I'll make it, I'll pretty it up later, always. Like, I, I just do functionality, practical, look shoddy. Although, like, I like things looking good and I can build good looking things, too. I'm um, just getting around to doing it. Oh, you just saw a little bit over there, too. We'll come down here, though. We're gonna... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I built this ladder, right? I'm gonna show you through the ladder I built. built this. I built this ladder up on this, up on this here so you guys can see... Um, what it looks like now. 
I'm get ready. I'm get ready for this. Get ready for this. You ready? Look at all that. Look at all that work that has been done. There is so much work that's been done there. Oh, it's great. We've got we've got this pretty deep pathway. We've got we've put rose bushes all around it. We've put trees down it. We've sort of we, the whole area has been lit up a whole heap more. <laughs> you can see by the torches that are everywhere. Um, we made this hedge wall taller as well. We leveled out the grass, the ground there as well. I'll go down and show you because there's other stuff a little bit that's hidden from here. Um, what else did we did? We built that. We built. Uh, we finished this. Um, where did the lobster over there? We built. Hang on, let me get this back on so I can point things. Um, we we built sort of this wall around it, around this viewing area, which I was. I don't even know if I actually did any of this on camera. Actually, any of that wall I did. Um, it looks good from the other side. I just sort of try to give it some details on the outside. I think it turned out all right. Um, we got this beautiful big tree here as well. Um, and another beautiful big tree over there too on the end of the path. Um, and I'll go down and show you. And we, the path continues on out here as well. So we can probably, if we wanted to, actually have an exhibit in this area sort of here. Um, and then have the footpath lead up through and then come stop. Actually, no, it stops here for the hips of the area there. Um, that, yeah, that would work. And then it's, it's kind of tight though, actually, with the way that winds. But we would have... The other part of the park, I think phase B is out over that way. So we would have a path leading on through here over the I don't know, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Um I don't know what we're gonna have in the middle. Anyway, I'll go down and show you guys. It's turning night again. Oh, it's always night time. Always night time, I swear to you. I don't like it. Um even though it's bright down there, we will sleep just because it's just because we're showing it off, just so it looks Highlighted and beautiful and nice and funky. Ugh. All right, been tired. I've been working on this world for like two days now, just non-stop. Haven't done anything. I've done other life stuff, but I mean, on my PC, I haven't done anything. I log into Steam and I just leave it logged on. I don't actually do anything. <laughs> it's weird. Um, you can see instantly it's nice down here. Oh, I need to get a log too. I need to replace the piece of dirt with a log. Um, because I wanted to grow it on a piece of dirt so the tree would be higher. Because I knew for a fact that it would grow short like that, because that's just my luck always with these things. Um, it is it is looking nicer though. You can see here we've leveled out the grass, we've put sort of chairs in, um, graveled it up, graveled it up. Um, I need to put another tree back here as well. Let me get rid of this. Um, the viewing area. Quite nice. The these guys have grown up as well, quite a bit. Um, oh, what's going on to this tree here? Why is this tree got these leaves here like that? What's going on there? It's weird. I don't like that. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna get rid of those leaves. Um, it's really weird. I don't think there used to be a tree there even, but uh, it happened really. Um, that's all right. That's partly fixed now. There we go. That's better. Um, these guys that were getting tall. These guys. I think these guys are fully grown. Look at this. I think they're the same height as well, which makes me think they're fully grown. Look at that. Tell you are female, Mrs. Mrs. Titanus and Mr. Titanus, Mr. T and Mrs. T. Um, you still look short though. I don't know why. I think it must be your color palette. Like, look at this. Unless there's sexual dimorphism, which would make sense. But I, it doesn't make sense why you would be tall. When you were the younger one, you, know, you two go stand side by side. You know, I think she's definitely taller than him. Um, that's all right. That's fine. I'm not complaining about it. I actually kind of like that. Um, anyway, we'll come down the rest of our tour. Um, we've sort of made this path as well. Um, for actually, no, I showed that off. That was an episode we did. That it was an episode we did. in an episode we did do that. I still need to, there's still a lot of off-camera work to do, because I need to fix this up, because, you know, we still got that there, and we're going to have a pond, and we got torches everywhere, Ooh, it's a mess, 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 that's alright, um, but it's, it's really nice walking around here, um, especially down this path, because we've got these trees now, these nice thick trees, we got from the, the big trees mod, um, we've got a little bench here, you know, to sit on. Um, it's kind of, I, I brought in the Zutakun <laughs> knowledge that I've attained over many, many years, like six or seven years of playing. It's here, I've labeled this tree as well, so I know what tree this is, Swamp Oak. So this is the Swamp Oak design. 
um, because I did them all over over there, um, but I didn't label them, so I have no idea which one's which because I'm a fool. Um, then I'm going to label them, and because each one will be slightly different as well, so that way when I go back through the park and I want to do a big tree and I'm not sure what's what, I just I just look for the big trees that are on the horizon of the park, run over, check what they're labeled, and then I know what that sort of design, or which, if I want one that looks like that, I know which one I've got to plant. Um, it's a beautiful big tree though, right there on the edge. Another little tree here, more little trees. Come up through here, and we've sort of walled this in. Sheep, what are you doing? Um, this area too, I, I'm thinking of putting a pillar on the, those back corners, but this is a nice, you actually can't get up there, it's just for aesthetics. But this is a nice area to walk into to view the little sauruses if the sheep is not sheep, I'll be there, sheep. You're not meant to live there, you're not meant to stay there, sheep. Um, the little sauruses both hanging out at the back, put a little bit of gravel in there, just because I thought it was a little bit, a little bit plain, I thought it was. Fix your sentences, guy. <laughs> um, once again, I still need to try and find a way to, sp to not spoof up, to spiff up, to spice up this exhibit so it looks nice on the inside as well. And then we come out here, and then we follow the footpath, and this beautiful big tree, and this one here is a great oak. And I love the way this tree grew because it's sort of like, sort of leaning on this wall, and there's lots of branches that are long out, and the path comes up here, and you kind of walk under this, this low, long branch here. It's fantastic, it's great, I love it, I adore it to death. Um, and that is the work we've done. Off camera, that was, it was a lot, not a lot to walk through, but a lot of work, regardless that it was done. Um, I'm continuing up this path, and I'm considering, I'm considering maybe putting, oh, maybe if I put a building here, actually, maybe we'll put like a building here, like a food court, or a restroom, or a gift stand, because we need, even though they're not practical, they have no practical purpose. If we're gonna make a theme park, you gotta add that stuff in there, you know? It's gonna look nice, uh, which it will, it'll look good which is fantastic. Uh, is this door still working? We can go check on all the amber stuff as well. Yep, door still works. Um, actually, we'll check if there's any food in this feeder box, but I don't think they can eat it. Oh no, they can still eat the feeder box stuff. So that's good. Um, it also means, we'll have to, it means they won't starve, but we'll have to keep an eye on it so that they don't run out of food. Um, but it's really nice now running through the park. Um, it's even, there's even some really cinematically beautiful shots as well, like that. That is a really nice shot for me to look at. I find it really aesthetically pleasing. And same as I think that one. That's a really nice shot too, even with the research lab in the background. When it looks nicer, right, it's still, I'm not satisfied with the look of it yet. Like I said, the outside still needs some tweaking. It's not quite fantastic yet. This is a good shot too. And there's so many, there's nice shots just everywhere. Um, now that we've done even this little work, even if it's only two exhibits, but it still looks really nice. Um, but I was thinking to hide that, like you can see that house, that cobblestone layout, and the house is obviously gonna be bigger than that. So I was thinking maybe having some sort of wall or something around here, or something, just something to stop you from roaming off the path and seeing all this and be like, oh hey, we can just run around. Um, Cause I know like in Zoo Tycoon, you follow the path, and as you would here, you'd follow the path. But I mean, if this was an actual, if I open this up to a server with actual Minecraft players, random like players, you know, server, they'd run off for sure. I would need something to sort sort of guide them into this area, um, and I think I'm gonna put trees around that edge there um, to try and hide. And I'm also gonna get rid of that staircase, and I'm gonna move move that portal to somewhere else, um, somewhere more practical. And then I can sort of have that house hidden, and you won't see it. You'll see the research lab up there, which you can't access. You'll just see it as a lab. Like in Zootacoon 2, the lab, you can you don't need to access it. No one ever walks over to it. It's just there. It's just like that shape. And that generic, that general entrance box shape I've chosen there actually is very similar to the Zootacoon 2 one. Except my one, you know, expands off. Um, yeah, I'm not happy with the way this looks yet. I'm going to need to I need to do some work on this. Maybe, maybe replace these edge ones with the columns or something? I'm not sure. That over there doesn't look too bad as well. Once again, I think I need to, it's not quite finished, I need to spice it up. This whole, the whole structure is practical. It does what we need, but it doesn't look fantastic yet. And once again, that'll be off camera work. But I wanted to show off what I've done now, because it was a lot of work, and it might even stay where it is, and it's still somewhat, it's, it's still acceptable, I think. I think it's still acceptable. You know, um, 
as far as builds go, if you look at, you know, bottom of the scale dirt shack that everyone makes, and I mean, I guess if we're comparing people like Arcus and Corrales and the fine, beautiful builders, it's got a lot to go, but as far as the, you know, the, 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 the average during Minecraft player, this is a nice constructor, I think. Um, oh, we've got some beautiful music coming in. And I know that the episode's just reached 30 minutes, and that's alright, because we're going to wrap it up here pretty soon. Um, we are going to... Empty out. Ooh, okay, we're going to empty out all these and see what we got. Ooh, okay, Smilodon, Terrorbird, Mammoth. Terrorbirds! we got to get some Terrorbirds running around this place, too, as well. So I'm looking forward to we'll some Pterosaurs in there. Ciliocanth, good golden stuff. Why are you full? Oh, okay, you got Quaggers and stuff. Okay. Um, this is all good. We can, we can work with this. We can work with this very well. Um, these should be, yep, finished, finished. You're gonna be finished soon. You're also gonna be finished soon. You're gonna be finished soon. You're gonna be finished. All right, done. Ham, you. Oh, just wait. The inventory is a bit of a mess. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, we'll try to make it look good. All right. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Um, what don't we need? Like, it's all just mainly junk anyway. Come over here. We can run through that. I forgot. We probably shouldn't, but we can. Um, oh, we've got to get. We've got to. I've got to stick the amber as well into one of these two. Fantastic amber. Can we get this DNA out? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Inventory is full. Inventory is full. That's not good. Alright, we've got to go deposit these. Up here, man, it's good to have this all like functioning, you know. I don't think we had any. Oh no, we did. We have a Tyrannosaurus. I, did, I thought we would have had a Tyrannosaurus. I thought we would have had a Tyrannosaurus by now in there. Uh, okay. So we can just deposit all of these up in here. Although 75, 50, 50, 50. Uh, can we combine any of these together? 25, 25, we'll save those just in case we get a, um, what are they called? A 75% one. Uh, this is, this is very good, very, very good. I'm liking this a lot, actually. Why am I, I'm like blind to something. There's something I'm just overlooking. I don't know what it is, I don't know. It's turning night again. Well, it should be safe inside this building now. There are, although, there are a couple of dark, scary spots around that I'm aware of. Stegosaurus. More DNA. More DNA. More DNA. This is fantastic. 100% um, Celiacanth. Man, a oh man. I just want to show you guys all these things. That's why this episode's still dragging on a bit. Um, okay, on a can't. The campus. Do we have an on the campus yet? Well, no, we do not. So we can slap you in there. And we do not have any other hundos yet. All right. So let's see. 50, 50, 50. Okay. These two come together. Hypsilophodont. No other Hypsilophodont DNA. 25. You two go together. Uh, you're a 75 and you're 25. Oh, we can finally get a Raptor DNA. Yes. That's that's great. That's fantastic. 70, 50, 50. Uh, uh, <laughs> not quite there on that one yet. 50, 25. You two line up. Uh, you two line up as well. Another 50, 50, and a 50. Alright, let's we'll stick all these in the DNA combinator. So that will reduce all of those for us. Got to keep these things turning. We've run out of sand. This isn't good. Um, we need a really, we really do need a chest, an extra chest down here. But for now, I'm just going to deposit it in this chest here. We'll treat this like a junk chest for now until we can, until we can get uh, another chest built in another room. That will keep you, you're important. <laughs> uh, here we go. Right, these plant fossils go in there. That's where they go. Oh, we didn't get the fern seeds. We forgot the fern seeds as well. Oh well. All right, 
you're a hundo, you two in there. All right. Let's get, let's get, let's get some of these out of the way. Shall we? And then we'll go stick all the ambers in so we can watch them go in all at once. Uh, yep, you're a hundred Gallimimus. And then we've also, do we have another, did we put out another hundred? We did put out another hundred. Maybe we didn't. We probably didn't. Oh well, that is fine. I probably should get a couple of these combinators though. Um, up and running. Oh, you two are not compatible. You two are compatible though. Uh, you're a 50, you're a 25, you're the 100, all right, you're the 100 there, okay, 100, 100, these two will go together, you will go over there, you're another 100, you're assigned, okay, so we've got two Velociraptors, awesome, and I don't think any more of these can work together. So that's good, that's fine. Now with an air skeleton, I'm still petrified though, because of the sounds I hear. <laughs> because I'm used to for so long, oh, things might spawn there. I mean, when I was building this place, oh, actually spiders can get in down that end, I forgot. Oh well. Um, like creepers were spawning in here, and that's oh, so terrifying. Especially because these floorboards are so expensive, because they only can be found. That's a worry. Um, let's see, 75, so we can put them in a 50, 50 and a 50, okay, so these two can come down to get a mammoth for us, stegosaurus, no other stegosaurus, no other hipsies, gallimimus, you're, you're 75 and 75, 70, 70, 75, your two mammoths will come together, these two Tylosauruses. Okay, we'll get those two Tylosauruses together. Carnotaurus. I don't know why the Carnotauruses are so different as well and weird um, with their DNA. Like, why they're why are they white without a face on them? I don't understand. Okay, so these two go together. These two go together. Tylosaurus. Stick you in there, Carnotaurus. I want to get a Carnotaurus, because Carnotauruses are awesome. They are fantastic creatures. Uh, let's take these two. I've got this whole cycling system that I'm working on. So, like, they would cycle through. So, this is how like, I started to format it, is I would have to do that every time I get 100%. Which I know is annoying. Um, right, so these two in there. Let's stick this DNA, this amber, in... Oh, he didn't throw that away. He didn't throw you away. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a mammoth. 100% mammoth. 100% Ornithocanthus. Or Orthocanthus. Not Ornithocanthus. Why am I saying that? 100% Kylosaurus. Ooh, good stuff. Those two are going together. 100% Brachiosaurus. Okay. Let's pull you guys up here. 100% Hypsilophodon. That's also good. 100% Tylosaurus. Put you down there just because you're different. You're different to us. Ciliocanth. Velociraptor. Who's out walking? Who's outside? Who's outside trying to spook me on the grass? You on the ceiling. That's the thing. on the ceiling now as well. 100% um, Tylosaurus. 100% Tyrannosaurus. 100% Stegosaurus. 100% Brachiosaurus. This is great. Oh, you're a, you're a creep. Look at you out there. I don't even know where you spawned in from. Oh, man. We're going to have so many dinosaurs. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be fantastic. Um, let's go. Tylosaurus. Kind of Taurus. Stick you down there. Tylosaurus as well. One of the Kansas. One of the Kansas. Not one of the Kansas. Uh, okay. Pull all these through and bring you down there just because you're by yourself. I want to see all the dinosaurs in the inventory. All the amber dinosaurs in the inventory. That's what I want to see. Ooh, ooh. 
the Hypsilophodon, or the Mammoth, or the Gallimimus, or the Tylosaurus, another Parasaurolophus, this is fantastic. So good. Sorry, this is taking a while, I know, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's just meant to be an update video and it's taking forever. Where are you? Don't you dare steal my bricks! Or the quartz! That stuff's expensive! I mean, you... Oh, you better watch yourself up there, sir. You better watch yourself. I, I, I just... I really need to stick a torch in there, because I'm terrified something's going to spawn. Terrified for my life! Um, here, this one. Hypsilophodon. Rarosaurus. Triceratops. Mammoth. Another Hypsilophodon. One more. Final one! Final one. Stegosaurus. Great. Let me let me arrange all these together so I can see clearly what we ended up with. Uh, is there another raptor? There's another raptor. There is another brachiosaurus, however. Tyrannosaurus. Oh, there's another hypsilophodont there as well. We did get two stegosauruses. We got two parasaurolophuses. Alright, this is getting organized. Tylosaurus, Tylosaurus. We're gonna have so many Tylosauruses. I want Carnotauruses though. Well, that is an astonishing hole from a mining strip. Look at that. So we've got another couple of Brachiosauruses, another four Hipstophodons. We're gonna have so many Hipstophodons. It's crazy. And Parasaurolophuses. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna use them all. I'm gonna have spared DNA. I'm gonna have like a DNA collection. Oh my god, this chest is going to be so full. Alright, let's toggle everything through it. Okay. Um, so, you would replace you, and then you would replace you, and then you, and then you, and then you, 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 you. Okay. I think, I think that works. I don't know. That was, that was kind of crazy. We have another Hararosaurus. We do another Hararosaurus. So let's stick you. Do, this. do the classic cycle system. Just no. You meant to go there. You meant to go there. You meant to go there. Although I, I actually I don't need to do the classic cycle system because it's only really when I get to these three. I might have a divider between them. Just so there we go. There we go. Brain, enjoy yourself. Brachiosauruses. Uh. All right. Uh, what's who's next in order? Brachiosauruses, mammoth. These mammoths are crazy. Hang on, let me just. It's probably easier for me to do it like this. Um, actually, do we have five of any species? Mammoths. All right. Let me. Organize this chest. Let's set these things look nice. Oh no, we got six minutes, damn it. Man, well it's it's still a pretty fantastic haul, I think. Um here we'll just do this. Oh no, now we got mm, mm, we got problems, we got problems, we got problems. We got problems. Two more of these and then all of these now down here. The silicants. Silicants are an aquatic species. Uh, all right. This is still. I wish he's stacked. If he's stacked, that would be a lot more convenient. Obviously. Um, are we going to have the Brachiosaurus lying around? Why do we? Why do we have this Brachiosaurus laying around? Oh, hang on, we got five Brachiosauruses. We can do this instead. That should have worked two, four, five. No, why didn't that work? I don't know why that didn't work. 
It is very annoying that that didn't work. Okay, as long as those are separate, that's fine. Um, cilia camps. Do we not have any cilia camps up there? We do not. Apparently, we don't have any cilia camps. Tyrannosauruses, we don't have any Tyrannosauruses in here either. Stegosauruses, I know we've got a few of those now. That's good. I wanted three Stegosauruses. So we're set with Stegosauruses now. Uh, Prarosaurol offices. So many of those as well. Oh, my chest is full. My chest is full of dinosaurs. We need to start making these dinosaurs. My chest is actually full. Another Tyrannosaurus. Another Stegosaurus. Where are we going to put the Stegosaurus? Uh, Triceratops, sorry. Um, man, this is crazy. This is so cray. It's great. Milkanotaurus. These two are Tylosaurus. Hmm. Alright. Alright, alright. We only got one in Kylosaurus. What? Well, at least we got one. Um, you know what? And the video, you're going insane. You're lasting it way too long. Everybody, thank you all for watching. This is the haul, as you can see here at the end. Um, crazy haul. Um, everybody, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Um, this was meant to be a short update video. Not an update video. Well, kind of an update video. I don't know. Anyway, everybody, <laughs> thank you for watching Minecraft Dinosaurs, Cobbs Lizards. Have a good day. And, um, alrighty, alrighty. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore.